Hello everyone, this is the SanDisk Extreme 500 portable uh, SSD. So this is solid state drive, 480 gigs, and so it's external. Uh, I'm kind of try I've been wanting one of these for a long time because I buy the little My Passport Ultras, which you know are much larger in capacity, and they're very fast. But this one's USB 3, and this one is all using solid state memory. And so you can see here some facts about it for PC or Mac, Windows 10, Windows 8, and so forth. See some things about the connectivity or you know, what it's compatible with. I don't know what all is in here. It just tells the contents of the box. Looks like we've got a cord and a book and the uh, drive itself. So we're going to take a look at that. And I'm going to do some speed tests on it. I'm going to do a, I'm going to render out a video project and see how long it takes just doing it on USB 3. You know, fairly fast hard drive and how fast you can do it on one of these. I'm going to use external drives on both, both this one external and the others. We'll see if there's a huge advantage to having the SSD version. And, you know, I just noticed that this thing does open up so you can see what's inside there, too. And that might tell you a little bit more about uh, what we're getting here. Rugged rubber bumper for added durability, it says there. Just to show how extremely small and light this is, I mean, here is a um, My Passport Ultra, so you can see the size difference. Now, this drive here, the My Book, is what I've been using for years, and these are just awesome, uh, you know, really good, well-performing hard drives for externals. Uh, and these are still faster than these, but just slightly faster than these. These are actually very fast. So I started using a lot of these, and you don't have to have a, a wall wart. You don't have to have the uh, adapter or cable like they have one in this one these don't need that and neither do these and so it looks like the end that we plug in is probably underneath this little handle here there's probably a or it might be here there's a little rubberized place somewhere on here where we attach the cable but i just wanted you to see that that thing doesn't even weigh it doesn't even weigh half an ounce it doesn't feel like it's just it's just tiny and so you can see that is indeed where the usb3 cable goes right in this little, you just get this little rubberized pull out place there where you can put the cable and that's only give you about a six or seven inch cable something like that so that's really all you need though you know, in most instances to plug into a USB 3. Okay folks so I wanted to come back to you and tell you what I found out when I used this first of all pleasantly surprised with the right speeds I've got some notes here on the screen so I'm going to look off screen for a minute I copied a 13.7 gig file, so a big, big package of video files, but a 13.7 gig file from my iMac, 5K iMac, uh, over to this in 1 minute and 25 seconds. So 13.37 gigs, 1 minute 25 seconds to copy the same files over to a MyBook. That's one of the big MyBooks, USB 3. Took 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Wow. A full 1 minute and five seconds less to copy to this from my iMac. So that's going to save a lot of time just copying and archiving files to something like this. Now, so I went ahead and did a video render and I did the, a, a project. I set up a three minute uh, video render and, and I did the exact same project both on the MyBook and then on the SanDisk. So what did I find on that? It took three minutes and five seconds on the MyBook. It took three minutes and one second on the SanDisk. So only four seconds difference. But that doesn't surprise me because it's really the processing power of the computer. I think at that point, it's just the processor on that iMac that was making the difference. Not data, write, and back and forth transfer times, I don't think. There was a four second difference. I don't know if what that was. It was a little bit faster, just a tiny bit faster. Uh, I, I did have all the scratch disks, everything set up to go to the folder where the projects were. So scratch disks and everything were going onto the MyBook and were going onto this. Could be that some little inner working there made a four second difference using this. I will say this. So this is what's cool. Uh, it's faster than the My Passport. It's probably 10% faster than the My Passport because the My Passport Ultras are about 10% slower than the MyBooks, which was still fine to me. I just, I, I just liked the uh, My Passport Ultras because they were fast and, and, and cheap and small. And, but this is, uh, is just as fast and smaller, and the write times are much, much better. So 
if you're having to sit there and, and copy files from your GoPro or from your um, from your camcorder or photos from your camera and it takes a long time, you might consider getting one of these and working with these and then backing up or archiving to something like a MyBook. Because it's only 480 gigs, I mean, I would fill it up pretty quickly if I use that for storage. I'm not going to use this for storage as much as I am on the road, uh, grabbing the files off of uh, the sources, uh, the original sources, probably will process and write them on this and upload the videos to YouTube and then uh, maybe archive you know, at night or whatever when I don't have to, or whenever I'm not having to you know, do anything that's time sensitive, I'll archive from this over to a MyBook that has a lot more storage capacity. So this was about $129. Uh, a My Passport that is one terabyte, I think. I don't know how big my, I think my My Passport's Ultras are one terabyte. They're only like uh, 80 bucks. So this is definitely more expensive but uh, it's it's a fraction of the size. It's not even a third the size of a My Passport Ultra. That's one of the small ones. It's not heavy. You could put this right in your in your shirt pocket. You might actually be the big danger might be losing it. It seems pretty tough though. It's rubberized on the back. It lays nice and flat. Um, I probably buy, buy some sort of little carrying case or something to put this in, even if it's just something like this uh, that came with. God, I don't know what this came with. But that might be something just to put it in, just to keep it safe. And maybe I can put the cord in there as well. It looks like I probably could, couldn't I? So there you go, folks. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe if you like. Hopefully, uh, this might be something that you'll find useful if you're a person that processes a lot of big data files. Thanks a whole lot for watching.